Hello everyone, this is Bethany from Southern Couture. Excited today to share something with you guys. You have seen the butterfly box probably before here um, on my blog and on my channel. And so I shared a few of their boxes last year. Haven't this year yet, but I'm excited to share the May box with you because so many of you that love Bible journaling, art journaling, paper crafting, you're gonna love the theme from May's box, which is why I was excited to join in on this one. And um, thank you to Butterfly Box for letting me be a part of that. Now, if you're interested in this box at all, head down below in the description. There is a link where you can grab your box and make sure you use the coupon code. I have it listed down there as well, but it's Southern Couture BOGO. You can put that in all caps and that will get you a free surprise second box with your first month subscription. So, if you haven't heard of Butterfly Box, it is a monthly Christian subscription box with faith-inspired items. They, um, a lot of times, are items from small businesses that are Christian-based businesses. Um, they support small, um, or not small, organizations um, each month, and a percentage goes to those um, organizations. So, like I said, that code will get you a free second surprise box. So, you won't get two of this May box. You'll get the May box and then a surprise second one on your first month's um, subscription. So really good idea. You could gift one to someone else. You could have a subscription set up for a mom or a one-time box sent to someone. There are lots of different options on their site. So make sure you check that out down below in the description. Also, they have a special Mother's Day box going on right now um, with a different, total different theme. You could check that out. They have a young adults themed box as well. So lots of options, but I'm excited to share this one with you. As I said, this is the May box. And if you love this one and its theme, make sure that you do order by May 20th. That will be ensure that you get this box. May 21st is when the June box will ship, okay? I think I have seen on their site before too that if you happen to see this video after May 20th and you're interested in this specific one, you can go ahead and purchase the subscription and then email them and let them know that you, and make sure you use the code so you get the second free one, and then email them and let them know that you are wanting the May box and if they have the availability and still have them, then they will switch that out for you, okay? So I just wanted to add that in case you are interested, but let's go ahead and dive in. If you do have questions, just leave those down in the comments. Now, also, I have already went through this box and looked at some of it, so I would be more familiar with it before sharing. So if yours doesn't come packaged just like this in this order, that is why. But I love that this little crinkle stuff is always included, which is a good thing. You can keep this for other gifts. Um, you may be wrapping some things up if you get yours um, for Mother's Day gifts or even Father's Day birthdays and keep that for your packaging um, and your gifts. So here is one little goodie that is in the box you can get a sneak peek of, but I'm going to sit that right there. And um, actually, let me switch this here. That way we can see the box better. Now, I like to start out showing you guys the card that comes included. That way you can kind of see what this box is all about. So, this box is designed by, I believe it's Witten, Crystal Witten. If I'm butchering that, I apologize. But you may be familiar with her other work and things. She does lots of hand lettering, beautiful designs. I have a hand lettering prayer journal, the coil bound thick one that she has. And so when I found out that she was lettering and doing this box, I was really excited to share it because I knew that I already loved her stuff anyways. So, um, of course, sharing it with you guys would be so easy for me to, um, you know, speak of her work already and how much I've enjoyed it. I shared that journal, uh, prayer journal, um, in a my um, 2022 stack roundup uh, resource video. So you might want to check that out too if you're interested for more of her stuff, but I just love it. So that is her name there. Um, but she does hand lettering and all sorts of designs using scriptures and encouraging things. So that's what this whole box is gonna be pretty much themed around, which is why I knew so many of you would enjoy it and why I couldn't wait to share that with you. Also, we are going to be going into a hand lettering with the devotional that she has and so much more. So I will sit this over here. I do want to mention I'm, that organizations are um, a portion of, of the proceeds go there. And this one this month is to an Oasis Pregnancy Center um, that offers encouragement and support to all women and families with a planned or planned pregnancy. Um, and so 
I love that. That is a Christian faith-based um, organization. So let's go ahead and we'll talk a little bit more about what is included in the box. I do want to show you too, and I'm going to cover up part of this card because for those who do get the um, box, there is a um, special code that she has included for her site. Um, but that way you can kind of see her there in action doing some lettering on her iPad. And um, it tells you a little bit more about her too. So that helps you just to kind of see that. Um, now, let's dive into the box. One really fun thing is everybody loves a really good vinyl. I took the tag. Hold on just a second. This is the tag. It came off of my... Um, towel here that I've already looked at, so I'm sorry about that. But this is a vinyl sticker. Everybody loves a really good vinyl sticker, don't we all? You can put them in your Bible cover, so many different places. My favorite place is putting them in the inside of my Bible cover on a journal, but on a mug, your laptop, wherever. Um, you may even could just put it on your car window if you chose. But I love this. Jesus never fails with that beautiful flower there. So that is um, one thing that will be included in your box. Um, it is waterproof vinyl too. So like I said, you could put it on your car as well, which would be really fun. Also included are some of her hand lettered cards that come with like this craft paper um, envelope. These are super thick and durable, strong. They're blank inside, which I love. You got more about her, um, her studio and all on the back. This one is geared toward like anxiety. You'll see cast all your anxiety on the Lord because he cares for you. If you know someone going through something, just a beautiful card. Um, to send to them and then this one is the um, it looks like it's it's a generic more card be joyful in hope patient in affliction um, faithful in prayer and so I love these um, it said be faithful in prayer card that's what they are calling it and um, the other one is the um, anxiety card so maybe someone who's going through something and in prayer for a situation. They're just beautiful. I do love like some of that rainbow kind of coloring going throughout. These are her hand letter designs. Um, both are blank. Just beautiful. I love those. I love having cards. Uh, you guys know I have a card box I like to keep on hand. So those will be really fun to stick in there. Um, while I'm over here and got this out, I will show it to you. This is a tea towel of hers um, with her hand letter design of numbers uh, chapter 6. One of my favorite all-time verses, this one right here, to pray over your family, over your children, and I just love this. So, I wanted to make sure I shared it, and you guys could see her gorgeous lettering. There's not a ton, a ton of color on it, just a little bit, so um, that would be beautiful with most people's decor. As Like I said, it's not got a lot. You could even hang this. It wouldn't have to be just in your kitchen. You could even hang it in a bathroom if you wanted. Or if you know someone going to college or getting their first apartment, this would be a beautiful thing for them to have to um, gift them as well. So um, I did want to say that is a 100% cotton. I hope you can see. It is really beautiful. I love this kind of like old worn. It's not worn, but like a just not this perfect finish to it. It's just this almost like a, an antique type look to this cotton, which I think makes it really beautiful and it makes it look more with more character, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I really love that. Um, so let's move that over here. I guess it's called a sturdy weave, um, but I love that. Now, the next thing that you'll see in here is this letter for the Lord, Esther. It is a 31-day devotional for creative lettering and digging deeper into scripture. So like the prayer journal, she has combined it with her lettering. And you can letter scriptures in it, prayers, things like that. Which is why I love this one because when you see it, you're going to love how she's combined a devotional with lettering in this one. So, like I said, 31-day devotional on the book of Esther. Look at the color, first of all. All these little fun pops of color, perfect for summer. I love that. My favorite part of it, I think, too, is the binding. It almost looks like this um, hand-stitched binding there that's beautiful. So, it's not just stapled. It's just a great quality, um, you know, that won't be coming apart easily on you when you're bending and moving it to do hand lettering and all of that. So, you'll see more about this specific devotional. I won't go into all of that um, because as I said, it is a, um, a devotional on the book of Esther. I wanted to just show you a little bit of the layout of it though. So over here you have day one at the bottom. It will tell you a letter for the Lord Esther being of course the name of the book 
or the devotional, you've got um, a scripture reference here, Esther 1, 1. And then over here is an area where you could hand letter this out. If you have no clue where to start, hold on right there because they have something else here in the box that will help you with that. So you can hand letter that scripture out, do some practicing, use the tea towel even, how they ha she has lettered out that scripture in numbers. You could use that tea towel to help you kind of give you an example or a guide if you're more interested. Over here, of course, you can put the date. You'll put um, what you're learning. It tells you what to read, some uh, questions to um, really dig deeper so you're learning more there. Over here, a part where you're listening um, for something specific in this particular day's readings, a um, sentence uh, to, or two for a prayer after you're done. I always love that, having a place to document prayer for each study and then um, what you're grateful for today and that little box there. So that is how it is laid out. Of course, each day there will be different things that you will be reading as you go through um, in here. And then that completes... Um, that particular one. She has more about some other things on lettering if you are more if you're interested in diving deeper into that. But now if you have no clue where to start with lettering, they have also included in here this hand lettering practice guide of hers. So this will give you just some beginner steps on like where do I even begin? And look at that beautiful page there where her Bible margins are hand lettered. So this will tell you how to um, get started. Learn to letter different terminologies for the different types of lettering and fonts. Um, different types of alphabets here, uh, how to use a calligraphy pen, which you do not have a calligraphy pen, stay tuned. That is also included. I mean, they thought of everything with this box um, that will teach you about how to use a calligraphy pen. This will give you a practice sheet here to work on some strokes with that pen. Um, a lowercase calligraphy breakdown. You can practice those there on these pages that they get. I love that it's included and you can like use this one to kind of it's shade it out so you can just um, trace right over it and then um, a page where you can practice writing out some of your own phrases and I just love that so this is included in here for you to get started okay so you don't feel like you're lost and you don't even have to do the hand lettering to go through this devotional which is amazing too one thing sometimes I like to do is just Rewrite that scripture. So you could go through each day of that week, or not that week, that um, throughout that day. Go back that week, even though this is a daily thing, and rewrite this scripture the day before. And just keep writing it. And that helps you also with committing those um, to memory, which is amazing. So here is the pen. Like I said, that is also included. It is a Tombow calligraphy pen. I know so many of you love calligraphy pens. So I'm excited that that was included. It's going to um, tell you, like I said, in that guide, how to go about getting started using a calligraphy pen. So I am not extremely familiar with hand lettering. I've always wanted to be more um, talented with it and good at it, but this is a great thing that they've included to help you get started, okay? And then the last thing in here, this is beautiful. Let me um, fix it because I was um, looking at it, messing around with it, but it is so pretty. First of all, I love the color that they've chosen, this really pretty coral. I hope it's coming across. It's a deeper coral, which I really love. You've got this um, elastic band here to keep your pages um, you know, closed and all. You've got a little fabric bookmark to keep your place in here. And then this um, debossing that says, but first a little talk with Jesus. And isn't that a beautiful little sentiment there for a journal? Um, I love it because it's... Um, a great for a prayer journal with that sentiment there, which is what I'm probably going to use it for when I finish with the one that I'm working in now. So cream colored pages. And um, I'm trying to get to the beginning here. You'll see um, the Lord is near to all who call on him with that little phrase there at the bottom. You've got your date up here at the top and then all the lined pages. And they all have the same phrase across the bottom. Um, I love the bookmarks included, though, so that you can keep your place. That's really important to me with a, a journal or prayer journal of any kind. Um, use this even to do some hand learning, and if you wanted to on certain pages, you could certainly do that. I did want to mention that this journal is a, um, it is 
a bonus replenishment is what they are talking about. It's a bonus replenishment item for a previous box. So I believe something similar to this was included in a previous box. And so, you know, with time, you may have used yours if you already have one. Um, and um, so that would be just an extra little thing you could add once you've finished your other one. And if you've never um, had a box from them before, then you'll love it. This one's really, really fun. Um, you could use this also for taking notes um, uh, with the Esther study. If you need more space, you could go into this and combine them. I love the colors. They're beautiful for summer, like I said. And this one I love. I'm going to probably slide it into my little Traveler's Notebook cover that I have because it does fit a little bit of a larger size um, journals. And that will be perfect to keep in there when I'm on the go and pull it out. Having those things access accessible and handy is really fun. Um, and helpful, of course, when you are busy and a mom and having lots of things to do this summer with your kiddos, so keeping that handy. So that is all that is included in this month's box, guys, and I, I'm just excited that I was able to um, share it with you. Um, if you have any specific questions, though, about this box, please, please, please don't hesitate to um, leave those questions down in the comments so I can help you out. I love that the guide was included. I have to say that again because if you feel intimidated or um, you're not sure where to begin when you open that devotional and you see that lettering space, you have this. You've got your calligraphy pen included and a little tutorial about how to use it. You can practice with it before you go into your devotional. And don't feel like you need to be perfect before you break this thing open, okay? I do want to say that because I don't want the lettering part to hinder anyone from digging deeper into God's word. That's always what I try to encourage you guys. So dig in here, do a little bit of lettering if you choose, practice lettering in a separate one, and then you could come back later when you feel more comfortable doing that if you are worried about messing up the pages. Just don't let that hinder you from diving in into the word. Um, how beautiful would this be if you wanted to break up the box as well and gift some of these things? You could totally do that. This would be gorgeous, wrapped up with a beautiful ribbon around it and one of these cards for someone you know that could really use that help and that encouragement right now, whatever season, you know, that they may be in, as well as the sticker. Throw it in the card for some little happy mail. So I just wanted to share that real quick, some fun ideas for you guys to... Um, you know, if you did want to do something like that, but make sure that you go check out the box from Butterfly Box down in the link. In the description is the link where you can grab the May box. I'm going to remind you by May 20th and use the code Southern Couture BOGO and that will get you a surprise second box with your first month subscription. They have different options and choices for that. So if you do have questions, let me know. I also forgot to mention, and I want to say this as well, when you put that code in, you're going to see, this is very important, that that code will take a $1 deduction off at checkout. You will not see it pop up and say free second box or anything like that. It takes a dollar off. And I have asked them about that, so I want to share what they told me. They said that in their system, that is how it has to be done. It does take a dollar off, but when they see that code, and, um, and the shipping department, they will know and they will do the second free box with it, okay? So um, I've had people before ask me, it's only showing a dollar off, it's not showing I'm getting a second box. Do not worry or be afraid that you know, you've got the wrong code or something's not gonna go through right. It will give you that second box. That's just the way it has to be done, okay, at checkout. So, all right guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure that you uh, subscribe Click that bell icon so you know when the next video is coming out and leave any questions you have about the box or the process down in the comments and I'll get back with you. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. See you again soon. Bye-bye.